Hi everyone. He is late. Uh, anyway, uh, Brian here with BMK Retro Gaming. Of course, it's pretty late, but uh, I got pretty preoccup preoccupied earlier today and didn't have time for this earlier. Anyway, I have a bit of an unboxing video for you guys. Got this this afternoon. Uh, it's from uh, <clears throat> the Blue Sky Rangers over there in uh, Ladera Ranch, California. As you guys can see, I already opened it and all, and fortunately, this time without cutting myself. Anyway, uh, I've been waiting on this one a bit. It is the uh, Defender of the Crown, um, an Intellivision homebrew game from Electronite. Now, some might be familiar with this. It was on, I believe, the Commodore or the Amiga 1, and was ported to a number of other platforms, too. For use with the Intellivision Master Component. Electronic Thoughts. Cool. Let's see. Here's a couple little shots of what the gameplay kind of looks like. Well, some of it. Not nearly all. Nice description. Arnold Chevalier. Hmm. Sounds like it may have been a foreign developed game. Doesn't matter though. Let's see. 1986, 2016. So the game is a little bit, uh, how you say, um, Cinemaware Retro. Yep. It's a little bit older, but uh, not terrible. As a matter of fact, I got turned on to uh, looking into a copy of this game by my friend, uh, my good friend and uh, fellow YouTuber Brian Puddin through his channel Brian's Man Cave. Not directly as much as I just happened to watch a couple of videos he had featuring this game and found out where to get a copy and um, glad I did. This is a, a good game if you're into uh, strategy games, particularly, particularly ones in the, uh, I guess you might call it subgenre themed around uh, Middle Middle Ages Europe. You know, knight chivalry, jousting, uh, conquest, and all that. Fun stuff. Anyway, we'll get into it more maybe about a week from now. We're about between being uh, the end of Friday and the beginning of Saturday here. Haven't looked at the clock in a few minutes. Getting close, though. But yeah, it'll be about a week out. But anyway, uh, as you guys can imagine, besides unboxing, I already went ahead and hooked up and got uh, tossed in my Mattel Intellivision 2. Everything's in nice working order. Played a little round. Didn't get as far as I'd like, but uh, maybe a bit further than I'd been expecting. Anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and do this little unboxing video and show you guys what I got today. It should be a nice one. After all, it's not too often that I... Um, end up getting in uh, another uh, Intellivision homebrew game. Occasionally. I think, let's see, uh, um, Intellivania was the first one. Maybe the first homebrew game I ever featured, as a matter of fact. And uh, was also um, the last one, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, don't want to keep you guys too long on that. Just wanted to do a short unboxing video, show you guys what I got in today, and let you know that it may be a week out, but it'll be upcoming for a homebrew game review after a while. Later today, I guess it'll end up being, by the time this video ends up being uploaded, I should have a homebrew review of uh, Zippy the Porcupine, uh, Atari VCS 2600 homebrew game port coming out, so... Keep your eyes peeled for that sometime later today. Maybe uh, not too late in the morning, but a bit. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in, uh, relax. I maybe hate to admit it, maybe step outside and have a cigarette or two. Get in here, uh, grab a little snack, and uh, get some sleep, and, uh, you know. So anyway, 
If you enjoy my channel's content, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comments section below. Uh, when I do the homebrew review for this game, I'll go ahead and leave a link for where you can get it there. Uh, then, I mean. Anyway, you guys take care, have a good night, and I will see you again in my next video.